Florida. My name is Ed Ruping. Uh, I'm a lieutenant with the Oviedo Fire Department in Oviedo, Florida. Usually first thing in the morning, uh, we start off with uh, talking to the offgoing shift to find out uh, what they did, uh, if there are any problems with the trucks, uh, if there's any uh, equipment that's broken or anything that's missing. Uh, and then after we talk to them, we come down and we'll uh, go ahead and start looking at the trucks, making sure that the lights, the sirens are uh, working properly. Uh, also, the engineer of the engine will go out uh, first thing and make sure that the pump works so that we can get water to a fire if we have one. Uh, then the paramedics go onto the trucks and they go and check out and make sure all their uh, drugs are on the trucks that we carry. They make sure that uh, their monitors, uh, heart monitors are on board and working properly. Uh, and generally just go and ensure that the trucks are uh, in good working condition and, uh, and they're clean. Uh, and every piece of equipment that's on there is functioning. If it's the other things that we do is training. Uh, we have a, a new uh, probationary firefighter assigned to our station. So right now what we do with him is each day we go out and go over the truck so he, after a couple weeks, will know the truck as well as we do. Uh, but in addition to that, we go over some of the basic uh, things that he learned at the fire academy, and that's how to throw ladders, pulling hose, uh, putting the hose back in the truck, uh, learning the extrication equipment, going over all the EMS equipment. Uh, so we do that quite a bit right now. Yeah, I chose a job. I got my dad, I got my brother, both in the fire service. My dad's been in here for about 14 years, you know, growing up with it a lot since I was a little kid. It was probably about since kindergarten. Uh, one of my buddies, his dad, was uh, one of the firefighters with uh, this department, actually, the Vito. And uh, his, his wife talked about it a lot. It was my teacher. So I was always brought up around it. My dad's been doing it forever. And brother kind of got into it a couple years couple years ago so you know it's kind of a family tradition so everything is about tradition with the fire service so it's kind of one of those jobs you just kind of love to do and here I am that was terrible. Okay. yeah yeah that's okay that's okay it'll be nice being out of a four-man crew it'll be like Guys, go. Right? Engine 43, uh, lieutenant driver got uh, two out. Well, I guess being a firefighter is, is a dream of probably every kid. Every time you see a fire truck go by your house when you're a little kid, you always think that's the greatest job in the world. And uh, for me, it really is the greatest job in the world. So uh, I chose this uh, as a I guess uh, a career change. Uh, when I was about 35 years old, I decided that this is what I really wanted to do. And I've been doing it now for 14 years. Uh, for me, it's just, it's super rewarding to be able to go out on a call and help somebody and see instant results. Uh, so for me, uh, I think it's a great job. Uh, two of my boys uh, are both firemen too, so they think it's a great job. Good little hit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>